Oh, this should be good, except I've forgotten how to drive. Yo, what's up? <laughs> 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 well, most of you should know that we recently made it to Antigua after a bittersweet 14 day crossing. Things went back to normal after Riley got the official all clear from the doctor. Oh, can I hug you? Okay. I introduced you to the incredible Atlantic rowing ladies who just did the same crossing that we did, only they were on a tiny rowboat and it took them 60 days. We got a few jobs done before soaking in island life and the Caribbean sun while it lasted. These little squalls are a bit easy to deal with on anchor. On the Atlantic crossing, they just sneak up on you out of the blue. Like I said, we could just go downwind a bit, but this is a seriously powerful one. Hell of a parking spot. This was full <laughs> last night, alas. <laughs> George and Crystal hooked us up again with a mad ride. Now oh, this should be good, except I've forgotten how to drive. So as you can see here, we've got a car for the day because uh, we still haven't provisioned since the Atlantic crossing. So there is nothing on board and we have two guests who will be joining us for... Wow, Riley, I haven't shut the door. We've run out of Vegemite. Oh, Riley. <laughs> oh my gosh. Baffin about. Jeez. So yeah, there's nothing on board and we've got Christian and Katie coming today. They're arriving. Uh, which is another reason why we got the car, because we're going to pick them up from the airport. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll notice that I'm driving, which means there's going to be huge arguments on this trip. There really is. Olives, olives, olives. Ah, Kalamata. Been there. How long do they take to go right? Uh, just a few days. Okay. I'll get two then. Ah, oh my gosh! That's <laughs> even black pineapple. The sweetest pineapple in the world. Is it? <laughs> Amazing. Apparently the sweetest pineapples in the world. <laughs> nice to meet you. What's up? <laughs> the crew. Hi, mate. Hey, you are. They're the sweetest pineapples really? in the world. I love pineapples. I love this. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> So meet our friends everyone. We've been in contact with Christian for a while to try and get him on board because we really love what he does and you know we thought it would be a nice little catch up and he'd enjoy his time on the boat um, but we've just been on opposite sides of the world like for as long as Forever. we've been trying Forever. to organise this yeah. and we've got Cathy here with us too who's come along for the trip. Um, so can you guys just explain a little bit as to what you do? Yeah, sure. Yeah? You go ahead first. Well, I do fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. Oh, that's and I'm from Peru. What were you saying that you you were concentrating on um, anti-bullying? Yes. I really enjoyed that. Yes, yeah. I'm actually doing a tour for bullying awareness mm -hmm. um, uh, along Peru. Um, I would love to do it internationally. It's yeah. it's an option. Yeah. And it's something I really enjoy doing because it it's it's coming from my own experience. I was very bullied when yeah. I was younger. Yeah. So I just feel the responsibility of sharing my experience to other people to try to avoid these kind of situations. Okay. Well yes. I'll try to be nice to you whilst we're on the <laughs> And my name's Christian. I make travel videos and for the longest time we've been in contact, so it's awesome to finally be here yeah. on the boat I've been watching on YouTube for ages. Yeah. So uh, yeah, a lot of my videos take place in Southeast Asia, Thailand, Philippines, Laos, Cambodia, all of that. Kind of expanding the travel horizons and very, very happy to finally organise and get you on board, mate. Yeah. And wonderful to have Cathy on yeah. board as well. Yeah, it's good to have I'm a girl so on board. <laughs> what do you think of the boat, Christian? It's amazing. I've seen it in the videos, but like to see it here in person now, it's totally different than the experience. And I think it's, it feels bigger. Or? It feels bigger for sure, especially when you get out on the deck and you see how much space you have out there. Because we've heard both, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm just interested to hear what people think. Cool, I'm already mate. getting into the lifestyle. Shoes off. Yeah. yeah. We were yeah. only supposed to be here for a week, but they don't actually know. We'll be staying here for at least a couple months. <laughs> Good luck. You have to fight with Riley's dad on that one. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> what do you think of the boat? I love it. Yeah. I've never been in a boat like this. Okay. So this is a new experience for me and I really like it. You haven't been out at sea yet. Yeah, we'll see what you say afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, um, I have to I have to admit I'm a little bit dizzy. Oh, really? Yeah. But I don't know if it's the beer, the, the oh, bear, the beer. <laughs> the beer that I had or it's because I'm really dizzy. Oh. So we will see tomorrow. I have pills. Yeah, great. Well, I will survive. All right. <laughs> have you ever slept outside? Yeah. Oh. We get a calm night, I want to do it. So, we're going to go and walk up that um, hill today with a pretty nice view. But, well, I just thought I'd ask if you wanted to come. We waited for a while, but you didn't wake up, so now we have to wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we're going. Okay, cool. It'll cool. be really nice. You'll love it. Yeah, we didn't want you to miss out. Shoes are gonna get wet. Ah! We decided to whip the crew into action this morning. Our guests didn't know it yet, but it just so happened that we were expecting the worst weather to hit Antigua since the hurricane last year. We feared for our friends. It was probably going to be quite an uncomfortable week ahead. Change our names, rob a bank. Come on, come and eat your food first. No. It'll get cold. Good. Can you come in on that? I've got a craving for your body. What's going on here, Ross? I'm just explaining to Christian about the water maker. Yeah, okay. It's pretty riveting stuff. Yeah, it's <laughs> fascinating. We, we are, I actually love this thing, it's great. Yeah. We are autonomous. Self-sustainability, it's yeah, key. It is. Especially here when we've just been running it off the solar panels. I mean, yeah. that's phenomenal. Yeah. So where does the water go after it's like been used by the sink or the toilets? Straight in there, straight yeah. in the ocean. The toilets, we've got a holding tank until yeah. you're out in the ocean. Yeah. But, yeah, mm. most of it just goes straight into the water. So we try and use, if you look at our detergent, it's environmentally friendly, so yeah. it's not bad to put it in the ocean. Yeah. So do you have a washing machine on board? No way. Too yeah. heavy. So, so this one here was jamming up a fair bit on the crossing, so I'm just mucking around with it, greasing it up, spraying it with WD-40, making sure it's all good. It is windy out here. I know. Holy heck. We're off around the corner. It's only three nautical miles. We're not going to go far. We'd really just love to jump in the water and go swimming in some nice clear water. So hopefully that's what we will find. Done a fantastic job with the dishes. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, I'm going to take you down. And there's no one in this town who's going to save you. Arms and end cord. Oh my gosh, you okay? Come outside, I promise you feel better. Come out in the wind. Oh my god, no problem. That's the worst place to be. To make things right. Well, you better put up, yeah, you better put up fine. What was that? 8.9 knots with just a head sail out. Navigating through a very narrow bit of reef. With a bit of a storm behind us. There's no more talking. There's no more talking. <laughs> Just gave Cathy some ginger because she was feeling pretty seasick. And even though she hates spicy food, I was like, eat it. Because she was missing, and I was like, she better not be down below because that's the worst place to be if you've got to be seasick. She was trying to have a shower, and I was like, get out of here. And she was like, oh, I feel sick. And I was like, I bet you do. Um, but it looks like she's feeling a little bit better now. All loved up on the front of the boat. <laughs> happens. So what are we doing now? Enjoying um, some go. enjoying some healthy wraps. I've never had a wrap without meat before. Actually, <laughs> that's not true. I had a peanut butter wrap once, but I was going to try and bust into a spontaneous freestyle wrap about healthy foods. Oh, yeah? I want to hear that. Nah. Yeah, come nah. on. Nah. <laughs> Um, that we're just going up into the into Jolly Harbour 
over here, which would be very protective. We'd probably pick up more involved. Should be, should be a jolly more, good time. More stable. <laughs> we need to stop doing this. More stable than a normal house. Yeah. In there. Look at you. Look at you. No. <laughs> Are you alive? Yeah. <laughs> Surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Dark skies outside, and my clock says three. We decided to drop anchor sooner rather than later. We decided on Jolly Harbour, which is quite big and surrounded by holiday villas, private houses, a golf course, a few shops, and restaurants. We had heard that it was fairly quiet though. Holy. All right, we gotta get on land. It is stronger winds than ever. The waves are crazy. The boat is like this. because it is falling gale right now, it's like the worst. And we decided we're gonna go climb a mountain because there's nothing much else to do. Climb a de mountain. Climb a de mountain with me amigos. What do you reckon, yeah. guys? Amigos. Yeah, we're just in search of better cell phone reception, so hopefully we can <laughs> find it up there. We just asked the security man how to get up these mountains and he couldn't exactly tell us how. He kind of looked at us like we were crazy. But he pointed us in the right direction. Um, he might end up just being a long oh flat gosh, walk. I don't, I don't know if we're going to get up here. Uh, but there's a really nice beach up here anyway. It's so bird. It's happening. Where are we? I don't know. Where's my boat? Where's my boat? Donde esta marca? We just climbed high enough to get a view of the Vagabond and she's still in the same position. So now, we're trying to climb this mountain. Um, there was a fork in the road. Christian and I said go left. So, we will be to blame if this Not goes us, nowhere. No. Lisa, there's lots of fire hydrants around though. Yeah. yeah. Well, we got a beautiful landscape, but most importantly, we're going to pull up Fergie's National Anthem. <laughs> Which because, we haven't seen yet. Yeah, memes come first. <laughs> <laughs> what have you found here? Pantalunas. Well, I was a little kitty, so I chased the kitten down here, but it ran away. Thought these are people's private jetties and really nice outfit. Need the back. Time to go. There's way too many spiders around here. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, everywhere we look, there's spiders. This boat mustn't have been moved for a long time. You're from Australia, how can you be scared, yeah, you can't be scared of spiders? Oh, I am, and cockroaches too. Okay. A beautiful day it has been. Yep. What did you say, so? It has been fantastic. Oh, no, it started pretty shit because it was windy <laughs> and the water was murky, but we went for an awesome walk. Now we're having some beers. But now we have yeah. palm winds and uh, two wines and a box of beers, so and life's some good again. Six sunnies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm showering and I've just cooked an amazing pasta and they're all going to be very excited when they come out here and have a look at it. There is depth. They're alive! This is amazing. I was all alone out here. <laughs> a moment of quiet though. Wow, it? this smells delicious. We're going to turn the saloon yeah. into a slumber party room and maybe watch a movie. Crossing like every day. Really? Mm, let's go for night time. Okay, we've got surround sound. Here's a phone of the tenor. Right on the other end of the phone says, We got this guy's. I'm talking about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Hello. 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 Here's a 
Wakey, wakey, Bookie. Oh. How'd you sleep? No bueno? No, I was it's keeping an eye on things every now and then. Aww. Well, thanks for watching that one, guys. Please don't forget to give it a like if you liked it and hang around for part two of sailing with these guys. Um, we head north and the weather finally decides to clear. So that's very nice of it. Please make sure you go and check out Catty and Christian's channels. Catty is really funny and you can see that comes through in all of the stuff that she does especially if you speak spanish that would be even better <laughs> yeah. and christian is a travel vlogging wizard extraordinaire he's doing some really great things they both make awesome videos we love following their stuff and we highly recommend their channels so go and check them out they're really good all right and that's all from us we'll see you next time I love my, I love my woman.